Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? It's your boy Sky Cobras again, and today, 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 we will be unboxing and reviewing the SH Monster Arts 2019 Godzilla King of the Monsters. So, let's get straight to it. Let's take a look at the packaging. So, here we have your Godzilla at the front. It says your Godzilla 2019 Monster Verse over here. Godzilla, that's the line. Then we have your legendary, the studio that made it, Toho, the own rights of Godzilla, and of course that Bandai Tamashi Nation's seal of quality. Look at that shimmer. On the left, we have your Godzilla SH Monster Arts, and then Godzilla doing a cool pose over here. That's neat. I like it when boxes do like um, the figures as the display or the model for the pictures that they use for designing the box and like that very much here at the back you have godzilla in different poses on the side it just says sh monster arts godzilla at the bottom a lot more things written there okay so godzilla here again lots, lots of posing on godzilla and on the top you just have here and then you have you can like i don't get why they have this one so you can look through but there's not really much you can look through as it is but i don't know that's the packaging guys let's just get straight to it then so i already took the box cutter and open it right here so I'll open top pull out come on baby get out of your box let's move this box bye bye and there he is in your clamshell box you can see he comes with just one accessory and an alternate mouth lower mouth okay okay and of course guys you know me every time we do an, uh, an unboxing and reviewing as i said as soon as you open the figure you gotta have a sniff test but once you open this and you know you display it around move it around you will now you will slowly lose its flavor so be right back for a sniff test oh that's good plastic so for his accessories, he only comes with two, so as I said, so he comes with this. This is the alternate, um, this is the alternate mouth. Let's take a look at it. Let's wait for the camera to catch that. So there it is. There's the peg that will attach to it. I don't know why the beam though is this small. Uh, let's, take, let's have a look at it after we've reviewed the figure. And this is the beam effect. It's nice. Translucent. I, I like that how there's some white shining onto it as light hits it. Then I'm guessing this is the receiving end. And this is the sending end. This is where shove this down Godzilla's throat later. So here is Godzilla in all his glory. Ha ha ya ya. Wow. Okay. So as we've said, he is a very thick boy. So let's take his measurements, shall we? 6.2. He stands about 6.2 in height and in and in terms of I don't know how do you call this wingspan. <laughs> Um, he is about 11.5 inches long so with that let's take a look at the detail work um, very very nice you know just your standard black or black on black with Godzilla with a little bit of gray at the front here some shading here done I like the texture of the his scales as you go on through the figure let's take a look from um, take a look at his toes as you can see the there is toes it's got some it's just more of a black with somewhat of a grayish blue. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. So this is his toe. these are his toes. So yeah, they're come of they're more of like a bony black mixed with some grayish blue, if I'm right. Then moving on to his feet. Here's his feet. As you can see, scales. Nothing special, really. Not much variation in color when it comes to Godzilla. There is some shades of there's some like tints of gray and somewhat green as we zoom in here on the hand you got some hints of white or more of like darkish like i don't know how you call that color it's like a darkish white if that is, <laughs> if that makes any other sense and then let's look at the head sculpt of godzilla here beautiful work done on the face if you can see it as you can see there is this grit there is the king of the monsters face, beautiful mug. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the front here, the side. And let's look at him from the front. Yeah, overall, very good detail. I, li I like, I think th there is some likeness 
You know, there is it's 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 I see the semblance of this figure to the monster that we see on screen. And then let's move on to the scales he has on the back. Beautiful texture in here. They are pointy, so you better be careful when touching this figure. Moving on to the tail. Here we have your tail. It's just still just black, so not much variations of color again going on. This is the big black monster. Okay, so with a little bit of shading from of of gray and somewhat green and then some of blue. So those are the details of this monster. Let's look at the articulation of this bad boy. So here, starting off with the feet, you have you have a hinge here. I think it's ball. Yeah, it's in a ball peg. Then he has some on the ankles too, but it's more of like it just allows. Oh here, you can see the line. For here, for his knees, he does have articulation. It's double jointed, I suppose. So he can go straight here, then bend all the way there. Then his legs. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> it's like a sitting Godzilla. So you can you can use that when you want Godzilla to sit down, apparently. So and then you can have him go all the way up. Oh, wait a minute. I guess. Oh, I guess it will affect the height. Okay, let's let's look at him at height. I think. His max height when we stretch it. I'm sorry. This is this just came out of nowhere. I just realized because a while ago he was somewhat bended. You know, he was more of a the deep the deeper end of the squat. But this is him at his full extension going up. So he stands at about six six point six inches in height when he's fully standing up. That's interesting. Okay, that just came out of nowhere. Um, anyway, um, this does go in and out. No. With the articulation does he have ab crunch can godzilla do sit-ups i don't think so no there's not much crunch there it's more of just a swivel here at the ab on the upper ab not much i don't know why there was a bend there for his arms okay if we can just move it um it does come i think at a swivel joint no i can it go out no i don't I don't think so guys the arms are just stuck there it's more of a swivel from up and down you can't really go left and right I don't think he can do like that inward and outward show and the shoulder for his elbows though it it can articulate like that so he can do like hmm 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 he can do that pose um, then for the hands here's your hands it's more uh, so you got your swivel here and I don't think you can rotate it that much. You putting that much force is scary on a figure. You know that from the Jiren. <laughs> and then from the tail, this is interesting because this is the complex part of the articulation. The tail, there are lots of joints here that I think are ball joints that will allow the tail to just... Because there's lots of independent joints here to make you really maximize the articulation with this tail. And I love that effort. Can it... It's super. Nope, that's about it. Um, here at the upper tail, from like, what do we, how do we say it? The ass part, <laughs> the butt part of Go of Godzilla. I almost said John Cena. Godzilla. <laughs> you know, I switch that up. There is some sort of swivel here, but that's about it. And I guess that's all his articulation, guys. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. The head, the head. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so. The head can go, can look that much, can look up that much. So you can reenact that pose again where he did the beam going towards he beam he used this beam to fire at the sky you know declaration of war to King Ghidorah and then here you have articulation in the neck okay up and down here another part like lots of individual joints again to allow for that comp lots of individual joints again there to show the complexity of the articulation of this figure to really maximize his articulation then this head here and then his mouth all right you can open up his mouth if you want that with the articulation done let's see how much we can play with this figure by playing around with his articulation posing him around so a while ago we did that standing godzilla pose as he's walking down to boston to the td garden gonna watch a celtics game um and then let's do like a can he do like a swimming pose you know that swimming pose from the movies i think he can i think he can oh ho oh wait 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 okay okay the, okay well we know that the arms can swivel like this <laughs> let's 
got have Godzilla lock down here. And his lower squat position. Have his arms do this. Oh, <laughs> let's do the pose that we saw in the box where he's beaming up. I'm gonna have to zoom out a little. Our ability to see him doing that beaming pose. So I'm assuming it's just like this. Do I just shove it down his throat? Oh my god, this 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 is so painful for Godzilla. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, okay, 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 okay. Now I I get it. Um, you have to you have to put this peg on because there's a peg hole here. So surprisingly, that peg is easier to open than I thought. You know, I'm getting that war flashback from Jiren. It popped off. The peg popped off. Ah! That's why I'm getting a little more careful moving the joints. So here he is with that mouth. So it does look awkward. <laughs> it's just like that. That's where this effect. Some weight to it, which is why maybe it suggested that you, you know, when you use this, you just do that pose where he's beaming it going up because look at the weight the weight really the weight is really heavy on his mouth look at it. he's overextending his mouth he's got, he's got it's forcing him to do a little bit of sasha gray action over there so we don't want that so let's help godzilla out let's move this camera here and let's do that iconic pose from the film a minute here all right <laughs> i mean i think this is from the movie this is about as much weight i think this head can support as much as possible let's back off a little bit just so you can see oh yes <laughs> hey not bad not bad at all this monster despite the scale of him does have some decent articulation with it that will make you do lots of fun poses actually let's, let's do that meditating Godzilla pose <laughs> And with that, guys, let's see how Godzilla scales with other figures. So here's Godzilla with other li toy lines. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts. This is the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Goku and the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Thanos. And then here he is with the Figma Saitama and the NECA Jason Voorhees. And here he is with the Mezco Wolverine and the Mafex John Wick. So anyway guys, my final thoughts on this figure is that it is a beautiful figure. I highly recommend you get it if you're a fan of the Monster vs. figure. It's just amazing. The detail work is nice. You know, it's a very delicate figure, but it is very fun to play with. They did a fantastic job in planning out how to articulate this figure because, you know, Godzilla is not really that... Um, you don't really have to make him do the dynamic poses, but you really have to make him do those menacing poses you know you gotta make him stand out detail work is also splendid you know the lightness of this head sculpt is really really nice it really captures the figure despite the scale being this small you know they have little room to work it with in terms of the detail but they nailed it then the pricing i think you can get this figure fairly cheap i mean there if you're lucky you can get him cheap i got mine for just about 60 usd it's a beautiful beautiful figure decent accessories you know very nice accessories you know I, I'd give this figure um, a solid um, 9 out of 10 9 out Ooh, of 10 very, very beautiful figure this this boy is a beast a literal beast the king of beasts which is why I enjoy this figure very very much I love the Godzilla monster verse I'm so excited to see more and as always guys this has been your boy Sky Cobras and that is the review of the SH Monster vs Godzilla and I'll see you guys again next time bye bye